Hi everyone, James Tennant here. So what I thought I'd do is a, just a quick little video on how to use the new web client and just some of the features on the new web client and everything. Uh, so if you're not familiar, the, um, the new web client was released with the subscription Vantage Pack. You do still have access to the old web client if you wanted to. Um, however, with the new web client, you probably should stick with the new one. So the old web client, uh, you know, the old interface and everything, this is the way it all looks. Uh, and this is the login page, which you've probably already seen. The new login is um, is just a different web page, which is added. Uh, and to get access to it, you just need to go to uh, whatever your server name is. So that's your server name. And uh, Autodesk TC. Don't worry about this landing. That just gets added as you, um, as you press enter. So all you have to do is just go to there. And that'll take you to your new web client. Uh, that's still going. Anyway, so let's uh, let's log in. So you can see there's a couple of new little things as far as logging in. Windows account, that's all pretty standard. Find your um, your Vault database and username, password, and all that sort of stuff. You also keep me signed in if you wanted to. Uh, otherwise, um, and then there's a read-only as well for a Vault office. So once we're logged in, uh, finally this is showed up. So you can see a bit of a <laughs> parity between the new and old. So this is all your new or your old stuff. But let's get rid of that because we don't want to use that anymore. All right, so in the new web client, uh, so you've got your Project Explorer, which is where all your files are going to be. Uh, item Master, which is where your items are going to be. Let's go to the files first. Uh, the first thing you'll see is your folder structure and whatnot. So you can select on your folder structure and see all your folders or your glyphs. You can customize this view. Uh, you can customize the view globally or just for you. So if you wanted to customize the view just in this case, I could go into here and select whatever properties I wanted to expose. Uh, otherwise, as an administrator, I can go into the settings and change it for everyone as well. So this, uh, this first view here is uh, given to me in a details sort of view. I've got the thumbnails or tiles view. Uh, this is actually one that I like the most. It's called planks or like tiles or something. Um, so for example, if we went into automotive folder, you can actually see on this particular view, you can see the thumbnail. You can see any properties as well that you might uh, have exposed on those uh, those planks as well. So it's actually a really, really good view. Um, thumbnails are good, but they don't give you enough information. And detail view doesn't give you really enough information either. It just doesn't give you a picture. So that's why I kind of like this one. So once you're uh, once you're in there to get back, you just go back through here, and uh, you want to go and navigate to somewhere else. That's fine. It's uh, it's all pretty easy to navigate. Very very responsive. Very fast to use. If you need to sort, you can sort by client, project, description, whatever whatever you've got in your properties, you can go and sort by those, uh, which is really really handy. So if we wanted to have a look at a um, a particular item, you can go and have. Let's say you wanted to view the item itself, you can go to the preview button there. The preview button will show you an enlarged thumbnail, or you can go and have a look at the DWF through here as well. Uh, and uh, that opens up the DWF where you can go and orbit and view. You can go and mark up, measure, do anything you want to do in here. Really, you've got uh, you've got all the same tools as what you've uh, you've always had, um, plus a little bit of extra functionality, which is good. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's how to preview it. Uh, and you can also go ahead and select on the file itself, which will then uh, give you the file details. So the first thing to look at is over here where you can see uh, some of the basic details. And again, you can go and customize what information this is exposing here. Uh, you can do it from here per user, or again, you can do it through the settings if need be. You can also see all the system properties for a file. So you can see if I scroll up and down in there, you can see all the system properties and the user-defined properties down the bottom as well. So all the information is exposed in the little scroll wheel there where you can minimize and maximize, plus this information here. Uh, and you can still get to your preview through here as well. So now looking a little bit further into the, uh, into the main view here. So this is the equivalent to the preview panel in the actual um, Vault Explorer thick client. In this case, I'm looking at the full history of the file. I can look at the uses, which will tell me all the parts that are being used in this. I can see the where used, which will show me up the tree, which is exactly the same as in the thick client. 
If I look at uh, the history, I can see all history or just revision history. So in this case, there's no uh, revision history on this file, but there are two versions of the of the history. So there's the version history plus, and uh, you can swap that to just revision history. And you can go and choose to uh, sort by whatever you're looking for as well. Print options and, uh, and preview options or configure property options there as well. So very, very customizable, very, very easy to use. And you've always got the ability to do this preview on every single version of the file, uh, which is extremely handy. So let's go a little bit further. Let's say I'm, uh, let's say I'm looking for something in the automotive folder. Let's say I'm looking for my go-kart. Go-kart. I hit in the search and I can run my search there. Uh, which is nice and quick and easy to do. Actually, uh, you can also go and um, run your content indexing search through here as well, if you've got content indexing turned on on the Vault server. Uh, in my case, let's just go and open up this. I wonder whether you can do it in a new tab. No, maybe not. Let's just go back into here for a second. And see this little checkbox here? This is saying uh, whether or not I can search on file content. If I've got this ticked, and I don't have content indexing search turned on in my console, then, uh, then I'm going to get that little yellow strip that I had there a second ago. But um, because I'm not, I'll just go and type in the search again. So go kart. And, uh, and there's all my files for the go kart. And you can see it's pulled out of the project property in most cases. Uh, I can go and do an advanced search uh, in the same way that I always used to be able to. So when I hit advanced search, I can go and say, okay, well, I'm looking for project. Uh, let's find project in here. Let's just type P for project. There it is there, contains go cart. And we'll search on that. That actually heads into the advanced find here where you can pull up all the information about the go cart. You can then go and uh, define that a little bit further by typing in full, for example. And this is the full go-kart. So that's uh, that's a way of refining your search. Heading out of that, you'll go back to just your generic file uh, or your, your general search results and back and forth. So it's actually, uh, I, I'm just really, really impressed with this. It's uh, very, very happy with the new interface of the web client. Uh, so that's really all I want to talk about. Oh, by the way, anytime you leave that search result, that advanced search, head back into there and it'll pull up the exact same file uh, search results within the session. So if you leave the session, then you'll have to put in the advanced search result again, but up to you. Uh, apart from that, there's not much really to talk about. Uh, the web client's the web client. It's just a cons uh, consumption. Well, at least that's what I'm using it for at the moment. Um, but as I said, it's a tremendous improvement. Very, very happy with it. Uh, you can put your own banner in and that sort of stuff. Choose uh, what you want displayed in the web client. Obviously, most of the time you would have that ticked. And the same thing with uh, these two as well. But for me to show you all of the stuff in my vault, then um, then we untick them so you can see everything that's in my vault. Uh, that being said, you can also enforce default properties so that people can't go and uh, set up their own. But I'm not that strict. Okay, well, I hope that was interesting. Um, let me know. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.